Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this group, we're going to be going over section 3.48 of our virtual geometry text on triangles, looking at how to mark congruent triangles. We're gonna be taking a look at problems like this, where we are to show that a given triangle, a pair of triangles are congruent, um, given a congruency statement. Don't forget, there are four practice problems at the end of this tutorial that we'd like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this presentation. To gain access to our entire Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Pre-Calc and Calc courses, take a look at the links in the description below or just visit our website at mathgodserved.com. All right, before we get started um, with four examples, actually three examples, there's something we need to go over real quick um, and then uh, we'll get started, okay? So CPCTC. This acronym is extremely important when proving that triangles are congruent. And also, it's basically what you need to know to do well in this lesson for today. Alrighty. So what does CPCTC mean? It just basically means that corresponding, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are what? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So what we're going to be doing today is basically looking for which parts of the congruent triangles are corresponding, which pair of angles and which pair of sides are corresponding, mark them appropriately, and then we would have showed that the triangles are congruent. Alrighty. So the instruction for the examples we're working on is as follows. We are to show that the given triangles are congruent by making the pair of, by marking the pair of sides and angles using the congruency statement. So for problem number one, let's say we have the congruency statement triangle LMN is congruent to triangle IHN. All right, let's go ahead and mark the triangle. So let's say this is LMN and this is N, and then this is I, and this is H. All right, so now the task is just to mark these triangles to show that they are congruent, all right? So uh, one thing that can really help us to be successful with this task is to reconfigure the orientation of the way these two congruent triangles are written. So the best way to do it is to orient them vertically, write them on top of each other. Okay, so triangle L, M, N, and triangle I, H, N. So when you write it vertically, it's easy to pair up corresponding sides because the order of the letters basically tells you uh, where what the corresponding sides and angles are. So what are we talking about? The first letter here is L, and the first letter here is I that tells us that angle I and angle L are corresponding angles. So since they occur congruent triangles, corresponding angles are congruent. So angle L will mark it with one arc and angle I will mark it with one arc. So these two triangles are, these two angles are congruent because they're corresponding, okay? And then moving on, M and H are in the same position. They're in the middle. They are corresponding angles, which means they're congruent also. So let's mark them with two arcs because we do not know if angle M and L are congruent. So we have to use a different marking system. So two arcs for M. M and H are corresponding. So they are going to be congruent since these two triangles are congruent. And then lastly, we have angle N and angle N for both triangles. So angle N, mark it with three arcs, two, three, and angle N, one, two, three, are congruent. So we've marked the angles to show congruency. Now, how about the pair of sides? Well, we'll just follow the same pattern. Now, we're just gonna group the letters in pairs, okay? So in triangle LM and LM, this side LM is corresponds to the side IH. You see that order? So the first two and the first two in both triangles are corresponding sides. So let's mark it. LM corresponds with IH. Bam. And then the next pair of sides, MN, 
corresponds with HN. So MN, let's use two tick marks since we don't know if it's congruent to this, uh, is congruent to I to HN. I put it in the wrong place. So HN right here, bam. And then lastly, we can just use method of elimination to automatically see that uh, side LN corresponds to side IN. How do we, let's mark it with three tick marks and then look at the labels and see if we can show that. So we're going L all the way to N corresponds with I all the way to N. Bam, like that. So we've been able to use markings to show that these two triangles are congruent. So that's basically how you do it. Okay, let's take a look at question number two. We're gonna follow the same pattern. We wanna mark these two triangles to show that they are congruent using the congruency statement for number two, which is that triangle PRQ is congruent to triangle PRF. Let's go ahead and label the triangles Q, P, R, F. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so what we're gonna do to make it easy to identify corresponding sides and angles, we're gonna orient the names of the triangles. We're gonna orient them um, vertically, okay? So triangle PRQ on top and triangle PRF on the bottom. Let's pair it up. So P and P are corresponding angles, let's mark it. So P on this triangle right here and P are corresponding angles. So since corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent, these two angles are congruent. Moving along, R and R are corresponding angles. So where is it R? Mark it with two arcs because it's different from that. And then R here, mark it with two arcs. These two are corresponding angles. They are congruent. And then we have Q and F, Q and F, three arcs, one, two, three. This angle is corresponding with this angle right here. Just one the order of the letters like that. That means that they are congruent. Now let's shift gears and look at the sides. Side PR and PR are corresponding sides. So they're congruent, one tick mark. Side RQ and RF are corresponding sides. So RQ, double tick, and RF are corresponding sides. And then we have the last but not the least, PQ and what? From first to last, PF are corresponding sides too, which means that they are congruent. Let's mark it, so PQ, one, two, three, side PQ as you can see here, and side PF, one, two, three, are corresponding sides, so they are congruent since the triangles are congruent. Okay, let's take a look at one more example, triangle FED and triangle TUV. When we're done with this, we're gonna give you some practice problems to try out, alrighty? So uh, we're gonna we'll wanna use our marks on the angles and sides to show that these two triangles are congruent. Following the same pattern, we orient the names of the triangles vertically, triangle FED and triangle TUV. Let's do it. So let's start with uh, angle F and T are congruent. So angle F on this triangle is congruent to angle T is one arc for both. And then we have angle E and U. So angle E, two arcs, one, two, and angle U, one, two are congruent. And then lastly, we have angle D and angle V are congruent. So use three arcs, one, two, three, angle D and angle V, one, two, three are congruent. So we've been able to show that um, the 
angles, corresponding angles in these two triangles are congruent. Now we're going to shift gears and look at the sides, pair up the letters in order. Okay, so we have FE, side FE, and side TU are corresponding sides, so they are congruent. So FE, one tick mark, and side TU, one tick mark, are corresponding sides, so they are congruent. Moving along, side ED and side UV are corresponding sides, so they are congruent too. So let's go ahead and mark that. UV, so where is it? ED is right here, two tick marks for the second side, and UV. Please make sure you follow the order, okay, so you don't you don't mess it up. And then use a method of elimination, we automatically know that this side D, uh, FD is cor uh, corresponds with side TV and they are congruent. So we're looking at side FD first to last and TV first to last con congruent. So we have been able to show that these two triangles are congruent by marking angles and sides. All right, now it's your turn. We have four practice problems that we'd like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of what we just talked about in this presentation. Um, so go ahead and pause the video at this time, um, sketch the triangles and use markings to show that the pair of triangles given are congruent using the given congruency statement. When you're done, click on the play button and we will show you what the correct answers are. Welcome back. So hopefully you had a chance to try the problems. Let's take a look at the correct answers. So angle G is congruent to angle S. Angle E is congruent to angle T. Then angle F, one, two, three, is congruent to angle U. So that's that for the angles for the sides. Um, GE is congruent to um, ST. And then EF is congruent to TU. And lastly, GF, three tick marks, is congruent to SU. Number two. What do we have here? Angle J is congruent to angle J. Um, and then angle E and angle H are congruent. And then angle F is congruent to angle I. Uh, for the sides, JH is congruent to JE, FE is congruent to HI, and lastly, um, JF, one, two, three, is congruent to JI, one, two, three. All right, number three, angle I is congruent to angle A, and then we have, uh, what else do we have? Angle J, is congruent to angle B, mark with two arcs. Angle K, one, two, three, is congruent to angle C, one, two, three. Um, and then IJ is congruent to AB. JK is congruent to CD. And then lastly, we have, um, what do we have? KI. For IK is congruent to AC. Number four. Number four, angle X is congruent to angle X. Angle Y in this triangle right here is congruent to angle Y. And then angle Z is congruent to angle Z, uh, angle U. For the size, XY is congruent to XY. Um, YZ is congruent to YU, and then lastly, XZ is congruent to XU. 
Ladies and gentlemen, these are the answers to the practice problems. How well did you do? Let us know what your score is in the comment section below out of four. If you have any questions, comments, or clarifications on these practice problems or what we went over in the tutorial, just let us know and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of geometry, to give us a like or a thumbs up, your positive feedback is extremely important to us. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other presentations such as this. Tons of support resources for your geometry class can be found at math.serve.com to check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.